Good morning, this is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. I am here at 1470 Greenleaf Street in Sherman Oaks, and I am preparing to perform the follow-up video examination of the main sewer line for Howard Bernstein. Now, we were out here on the 11th of April and uh, discovered some situations we have already recommended repair on, um, but uh, we had also recommended that the line should be hydrojetted because there were sections, uh, most importantly, at the city connection that we couldn't see well enough to determine if there was any damage. So that has occurred. The line's been hydrojetted. I'm going to take a look at that area again. Now, nothing has been done as far as the uh, repair recommendations that were given after the original investigation and examination, and that's, that's fine. We weren't looking to check up on repairs. We wanted to make sure that we saw the entire system and then could provide all the final recommendations. This was one of the areas where we had the roots coming in at that connection that should be sealed. And then we're going to drop down to the front of the yard and get into that uh, other area we described that the fittings weren't standard and this is drop. See we just kind of drop straight in see the leading edge of that pipe. A little different viewpoint here and I have a guide on the camera get it up off the bottom. You can see this downward turn kind of just goes into the top of the concrete. It's not a smooth transition and back to horizontal. Alright, so we had a few areas through the uh, concrete pipe that had root intrusions. All of that's been jetted out. I don't recall if I had mentioned or talked about the concrete lateral pipes here in the city of LA and just the fact that the uh, city of Los Angeles is requiring rehabilitation of these concrete pipes at the property owner's expense with an approved lining system uh, in the event of certain types of construction or permits applied for for the property alterations, things like that. So there's a possibility that this might need to get rehabilitated anyways at some point. But we just really want to make sure that we weren't, uh, that nothing was hidden and uh, covered up any damage. So we're getting up to the area here. We're making that connection. This is where we had those significant roots and what looked like soil buildup and stuff like that. You can see the joints and the connections here at the elbow fitting and just over this hump and uh, our Y fitting into our city sewer. Nothing, <coughs> excuse me, nothing obvious as far as damage or a break. So, uh, Really see any reason to recommend any sort of uh, repair as far as like, excavation or anything like that. Uh, one may want to consider a lining system on this under concrete pipe. Eventually, it probably will deteriorate to a point where it would be uh, beneficial. But uh, at this point, I'm not seeing anything that would tell me that it needs to be done at this point. So, no additional repairs, uh, simply the uh, the original repairs for the original examination do still apply. So, my uh, follow-up written report will describe our findings today, being that there were no additional repairs found. I uh, do recommend the original repairs to be done, and I will also include a reflection of uh, industry standard repair costs along with that. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video portion of the examination. Uh, please do refer to that written report for the description of our final findings and recommendations, including maintenance recommendations. Now we do recommend that all main sewer lines uh, be examined after any significant seismic activity and that main sewer lines should be examined annually to monitor for changing conditions in the system. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much and have a pleasant day.